They're actually insane. Two unranked players. You know, we went from grandmasters to masters to like diamond, and now not even ranked, dude. What type of <laughs> players is Dragon inviting to these tournaments? Yeah, man. Don't believe this. Well, hopefully, they know how to make workers. We'll see. Right. Uh, of course, Jackson and Sam are basically spamming each other's names in the lobby to wonder what they're doing right now. <laughs> they are good friends. Um, the Mind Sandy guys are really cool. Start us, of course, at the Star Talk show for a little bit of time as well. So, San is, uh, despite being somewhat unreachable, really from the guy. At any rate, here we are in this final best of three of the day, guys. This is the first half of the round of 16 that got played out for the Dragon Invitational. I'm Rifkin, casting this morning with Namshar. And uh, sadly, Namshar out of his comfort zone. We've strayed away from Zerg, but he's keeping <laughs> up pretty well. It's finally here in the bottom right corner of the map from Yoey Flash Wolves. It is, of course, one of their star players, the Blue Protoss Sun. And in the top left of Nimbus, we've got our red turn player playing for my insanity. It is Jakshi. All right, so if this was like any other player in the world, like this, I can't, what kills me. The only downside to this matchup is the fact that they're both playing on the North American server. No one quite having that home field advantage and no one quite having the perfect latency to work with, but Jokshi's TVP for yep. a time was seriously like the best, like almost almost 100%, like against some of the best players in Europe. Mm -hmm. San, though, at the same yep. time, you know, he's constantly getting to the end of WCSs. He's a really scary player. One of the mm -hmm. best when it came to the Acer Team Story Cup. This is such a good matchup, and I don't know how to call this one. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick with the power of Protoss again, uh, Rifkin. And, uh, well, I got Rifkin. You'll stick with your Terran brother. So yeah, <laughs> this one. Okay, so here's how I see this series playing out. Jokshi's really good at reading his opponents, but like if if he can play with map packs on. You could never kill this guy, ever. Not because of the map hacks, just because he's so good at reading things, right? So if he can get a, a good scout with the SCV, if his Reaper is relentless as it always is, yeah, I think he'll win this series. But if Sen can shut down the scouting from the get-go, well, we've seen this in the past too. Jokshi can sometimes awkwardly flounder. Uh, where it's like, okay, you know, what's happening here, rubber legs? All of a sudden you've gone from this god Motaren player to what are you doing? Uh, and this is against players, of course, who aren't even as good as Sun. So it's completely in the realm of possibility. Joshi builds wrong. Joshi builds into the plays blind, and it seems to be like he gets unlucky when that happens. But a lot of times, too, those are best of one situations, like the Acer Team Story Cup. So uh, in a best of three, might not actually be the end of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we'll see how it pans out. Um, Sam uh, ooh, opened I like two assimilators on one base into an excess. So. Well, actually, I really like the reactor coming out of Jaxi so early. Yeah. Uh, one of the things he's kind of best known for is going two Raxes. He's probably going to go for the factory in this particular game. but Yeah, exactly. He went for a 12 Rax, 12 Gas. But then, yeah, he's been mining Gas like all along uh, yeah. from the uh, refinery. So there's the factory off of one Rax, uh, as expected. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting where to see where he goes with that. You know, he's going to make Widow Mines or Hellions or, <laughs> or both. Where he's going to go with it, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so there's two classic spots to hide in a base if you've got an SCV looking to scout. One is either over here, and one's in the natural. Josh, you did hide in the natural for a little bit to get the SCV out of life in the Mothership Core. Mm -hmm. He uses Reaper to distract, so some pretty cool tactics there. Yeah, unfortunately, though, he doesn't see the Stargate yet, anyway. Um, yeah, Sun did go for those two assimilators into an expansion, so he has a bit more gas to work with than he would have if he went for a one gas expansion. So he does put his gas into that Stargate. I'm just gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a late uh, oracle, so we'll see if he, you know, lucks out with it. If Jackie's out on the map with his unit, the oracle might do a lot of damage. Well, I'm wondering if he'll do the Widow Mine drop or if I'll have this at home too. That's gonna be another big thing to consider because, of course, the Widow Mine jokingly oh, will Rifkin? shut down. Hello? Oh, sorry, I muted my mic to you for a second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, I was just talking about the, the Widow Mine. Um, it's gonna be an interesting thing. If he goes for the four Marines of the two Widow Mine drop, he's gonna have no defense at home for the Oracle, which could be devastating. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But he's actually going to position this, uh, maybe wait for the Oracle first and then, then move out. I mean, so he doesn't know it's an Oracle, guys, but oh, exactly. oh. you're mm -hmm. coming up against a Protoss player. Roll the dice the as a Terran. This is one of the more common builds. Reaper, Reaper, oh. He's actually going to see this right. too. Yeah, he sees the Oracle with his eyes as well. Actually, oh, this is huge! Burns the energy right now. San, guys, if you don't know, it takes 25 energy just to activate the Pulsar Beam. That's huge. That takes away yeah. so much potential from him actually getting across the map and dealing damage. And oh my god, he's making a one Oracle into a third base off of two Gatsus. So. Oh, you know what? He didn't know where Jaxi spawns yet either. So this Oracle... 
spin off. Oh god. Game. Okay. So I guess it's kind of like uh, uh who was it that we saw do this? Like uh, like I'm, I don't, I don't wanna you know stamp a name onto it, but I think we saw Mana do something like this where you make an Oracle and you don't really try and do damage with it until the Terran moves out, and then you try and get some SV kills, and then throughout the entire game that adds up. So. I guess Sandus doesn't really care about the timing, he's just gonna chill for a bit and try to do some damage later, but ooh, this drop coming in. Yeah, with an this... overcharge, but Stalker's out of position though, so. Well, that's the thing, the Wood Mine's not supposed to go for the, the Mineral Lines. He's gonna use this to zone out at the ramp most of the time. It does actually burrow at the, at the Mineral Lines. And he's gonna go to the other with the Marines, so a very awkward way to go about doing this had there been detection, but Josh is able to get away with this. Oh! Because uh, he's on detection, so I realized the wood might already gone off. Freaked out for a moment when I saw the robo stack. <laughs> yeah, um, I did get one kill with that, but there is no robo. So that's exactly. a big deal. Exactly. I mean, the Oracle is going to come okay. back home to Envision. Yeah, this would be good that's detection. Mm -hmm. So that's important. Uh, well, you know, that actually brings the Oracle back home, though, too. Josh now knows exactly where this is, and it's no longer like, okay, is my mineral line in danger or not? Well, yeah, I mean, this is getting interesting. Look, like, San, he took a greedy Nexus. He gets away with it because, you know, he didn't pull his Phoenix. Oh my oh. god, six. There he gets a live one. Yeah, San went for a greedy Nexus, and now he's going to get away with it because Jackie doesn't really have any units. But the reason why Jackie doesn't have that many units is because he made a third CC off of one barracks. So San went for a one gate yeah. third base, and Jackie went for a one barracks third base. So they're both being greedy. But I think this still favors Sun because he's already mining quite a bit from that third base and he's been probing out hard and he's teching up more now with that Templar Archives and the Forge. But it looks like Sun is getting better end of this uh, kind of greed war. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that you would phrase it like that. But um, one thing I was a little bit. <laughs> it's not wrong. Uh, one thing I was a little bit worried about though when we saw the Phoenix come out was like whether it be more than one. Um, Phoenix Colossus is yeah. hardly the common build in this matchup, but it is worth noting, guys. I've seen Joshi lose the Phoenix Colossus more than any other strategy in StarCraft. Feel like DTs have killed him less, all ins have killed him less. Phoenix Colossus have been the one thing I've seen that really ends Joshi's life, and usually catch him off guard once, but never twice in a row. So it's kind of thinking yeah. like, ooh, we could possibly have that coming out. It's still an option eventually for Sun, but he's investing, of course, in his ground forces. Armor upgrades yeah. coming up first, not a terrible idea, and the early Archon's going to help deal with a small amount of Marines, but uh, mm -hmm. in all honesty, this is still a bit of an awkward uh, greed game as you describe it, because no one, not, not either Sand or Josh, is looking to get too aggressive here. Yeah, and yeah, that Phoenix is patrolling now to look, look out for drops, so nice, nice bit of movement there with the Phoenix is scouting, and gets the revelation as well, that's a big move, he's going to have... You know, every information that he wants about the movement of that medivac and those marines. And Sun also saw the third base, which is nice scouting there by Sun. He made a pylon in the top right, and then he sent the probe down to the third base of Jaki. Sees the third as it lands, so he knows pretty much what's up. Makes a sell it now to kind of confirm uh, Jaki's army movements, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and Jaki you know, only gets the scan off here on the third base, confirm it is down to saturate, but he gets the robo in that scan as well, so not too bad. Uh, mm -hmm. You will find the pilot over here. This will get cleaned up. There's nice another there. one behind it. Good logical thinking there, because the sellout must have come from somewhere, right? So instantly yeah. goes and hunting for pilots after seeing that sellout. So <laughs> chicken nice and the move. egg, probe in the pilot. <laughs> Which came first? <laughs> you need the supply for the probe, but you need the probe for the pilot. <laughs> Actually, I like these cannons coming down here. It seems silly to invest three cannons into defense, guys. But as a Terran player, you never want to drop into. You, sometimes even one cannon will make you really hesitant, but. Uh, this is what I was talking about earlier with the Oracle, you know, the threat of its damage, okay, whatever, but right now, San sees exactly where Joshi's yeah, army is, 100%, nice. so he can position accordingly. Yeah, great revelations there, and yeah, those three cannons as well, I mean, that base is so vulnerable, right, so having that high Templar with almost two storms now, and photon overcharge, and three cannons, just making sure he doesn't take them, even a doom drop can't go in there, like, very, very nice, uh, you know, solidifying that position, and... Jaxi scanning, going forward. Oh, goes to the High Templars! Barely doesn't get one. It's like that Guardian there. Shield. Yeah, the Guardian Shield really helps a lot here against the low amounts of bio. But that storm is so good, nice. and the Marines soak those hits. San is going for that old school yeah. style we described before, not being so popular anymore. And Joshi, oh well, he's God. like, you know what? Screw it. You deal with what you want. He gets the Mothership Core. You can pick up to get out of the Time Warp if necessary. He's trying to avoid the feedbacks, of course, but this force is just oh. going to stim away. The High Templar waiting for him, though, on the high ground. Oh, but look at that. Look at that. He picks up. Oh, he's going to lose one. Almost another oh medevac and somehow okay it does go down. Feedbacks and get slapped down. Oh yeah, Jackshi with one medevac alive. This was not a good attack. Doesn't even distract long enough from the front lines. He's got some widow mines here though, and you guys are about to see why this strategy is not so common anymore as the zealots dissipate to the widow mines. 
and all of the units at the natural died as well. So, oh, this is looking very, very bad for Jackie. He lost so much in a trade off. And I mean, I don't know, what are you gonna say? NA delay tanking those storms? Uh, well I think it's more that you didn't expect storms. I mean, you build into this expecting Colossus, right? But yeah. Jackie made oh. my time personal. Huh? That's nice. Yeah. I was going to say, Joshi may not have actually thought Colossus though, because we didn't see him pu start pumping out Vikings, right? Normally it's the blind uh, thing to do as a Terran, but still going heavy on the medevacs. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he's identified that Storms now, but he's going to have to also identify that the Colossus tech swap is out and available. Uh, what are shots going off if we hear randomly in the background? Yep. Ooh, that Storm though. Gets the Mothership Core again, maybe? Uh, sitting away for his life, of course, from these Zealots. But the nice one of my shot goes on. <laughs> Yeah, this feels like a massive desperation move out of Jakshi. This drop is so weird. And oh my god, Storm drop at the natural of Jakshi. <laughs> Kill a couple of SMEs. Right, picks up boost sun out of here with what he can. Uh, more feedbacks might be in store. Let's not forget that Phoenix from earlier with no health is going to actually kill one of the medevacs. Jaxi's still pushing the front while this is going on, and the Wood Wines up getting some pretty good hits off. The detection's still very, very, very limited. Only just now getting his first set of observers out, because of course the production has been prioritized heavily on the Colossus. But with uh, two Robos, he's got that little bit of leeway, a little bit of breathing room. Um, but in the intro here real quick, big shout out to Abominable Fro, just subbed to the channel. Well, a few moments ago, but still. Thank you very much for that nice. subscription, man. Nice. Alright. Uh, Sun's fourth coming down is kind of a big deal. Yeah, if you can hang on to that, that's a very big deal indeed. It's gonna give him a lot of important gas, and well, Jackshi just kind of flies past it. Oh my god, he's gonna fly into those cannons. Oh my god, look at this natural! You can't go in there. Oh my no, god, that was an overcharge as well. So backs on away from this. Ghost Academy yeah. finally coming down behind this. I kind of feel like this is a little bit late. You know, he's had the Templar forever yeah. going, insisted on going heavy on the Widow Mines, which. I mean, he's been getting decent trades with. It's not like it's been a horrible choice out of Jaxi, but of course, EMPs against Colossus, against Templar, against Zella, it's always going to be the best. Around, gonna keep me down. Left side of the map, cutting around for his life. Zella's still with the camp, but Concussor Shell's going to keep them at bay. Oh, perhaps getting a little too dedicated over here because he's focusing his attention on the right. We'll lose his forces now on the left. A small mistake out of Jokshi, but rallying yep. troops through the center portion of the map. Looking for another fight. What am I popping off on these zealots? And San, you know, he smells blood, man. I think he's going for it. He's making a proxy pine now on the left hand side. Jokshi's being active on the, yeah, as you said, on the right side as well. It's, but It's been a lot of trading, but it's it's because yeah. Jokshi knows he can't fight head on. You know, mm -hmm. guerrilla tactics being adapted because it's the best way to fight this out. Yeah, he's going full curious here, I guess, trying to buy time. <laughs> full curious, I like that. <laughs> so what am I in some? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, almost gets uh, one of them. I mean, okay, so we're seeing Widow Mines instead of Vikings. Now we finally have Vikings coming to play because the Colossus count before was so low it wasn't an issue. But now, of course, Joshi really needs to get those Vikings out. I'm loving this wall he slapped down really early, by the way. This forces all attention to the middle portion of the map. So centralizes yeah. the defense between these four bases. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, the thing is, his... Well, he, look at his supply in general is low, right? Like that's what's kind of scary for yeah. Jaxi. His tech's kind of a little bit behind. San didn't exactly chrono out three three super duper fast, but uh, for Jaxi, now he's finally got the ghost out. I'm feeling a little bit better about his position in this game. Yep, yeah, he's still in it. If he can get a good fight with those ghosts, that would be you know something that he needs. He even throws down a fifth now, but moving out with the 160 supply, not sure that's a great idea because San is basically max, so he's gonna have well, a bigger army and. Jaxi's been not exactly sniping off observers this game either, right? Like, sometimes yeah. you see him on fire with this. This time, we're not really seeing that so much. Uh, when my shot goes off, but these ghosts waiting for those EMPs. And it's like, what do you prioritize this on, right? Like, there's like 100 Zealots, there's Archons, there's, of course, Storms <laughs> you're worried about as well. Yeah, I mean, I guess Storms is the most important part, but yeah, getting, getting on the Archons as well would be nice, but... Oh my god, how's this pylon coming down where it is? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually going to be really devastating if he can complete that. Jaxi might get caught from behind by a bunch of charge lots, so uh, he has seen this at this point, but he's not doing anything about it. Looking to pursue the issue on the other side of the field instead. Vikings looking for a fight on top of the Colossus, but trying to dodge these storms. Nice snipes. Snipes always better than EMPs when you can apply them, but a War Prism sneaks in at some point. Don't know where or when. Eight health gets past three turrets, Namshar. Wow. And always going to storm. That's painful. Could get close. Uh, I don't think he's going to kill the ghost again. I don't think he's that dangerous, but... 
Uh, this does force Joshi entirely home. Yeah. It would, would be nice to cancel Cloak though, the upgrade. Oh, we might yeah. actually get it. I thought Joshi, where's yeah. his, uh... There we go, his armor's now coming. Oh, well... Cool Not snipes. Not firing with all of the sellouts, actually. There we go. Good to do it now, but uh, is it too late? Looks like he will get it. Oh, good to die here on the Cloak. Wow. That's very nice. Two Ghost of Mac Academies made up behind us, so one for Cloak and the other for a nuke, maybe? Question mark? I don't know, but... <laughs> Kind of weird. Uh, he's actually not fully yeah. cleaning this up yet. There's still zealots going ham in the mineral line. Which oh, actually wow. is not dedicated enough to this. But because of this, he's going to bleed out a lot of SCVs. Eight and six kills on those guys, so. Strong zealots. And nice movements by San here. Darkshi's army is way out of position. You could snipe this planetary at fourth base. Yep, this isn't like stopping Lings. The planetary fortress does not stop zealots. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's gonna go down. At least Jackie has that other base to transfer to, but that's still a painful loss. And in an actual, still that sellout. Ooh, a ghost. One HP, yeah. I was gonna say, you can just lift off command center at this point. The one in the main is pretty much mined out, anyways. Uh, he's got yeah. a lot of energy that's been banked up, too, so he's not he's not had a big need for mules, but he does need to start considering muling again. Uh, attack over here towards the fourth of his opponent. It's sadly, Son, of course, has a fifth base hidden behind this Jackie is unaware of. But lots of ghosts to the front lines could mean a lot of EMPs also available, possibly, potentially, not throwing any down, gonna bleed out a lot of the ghosts, though he doesn't have that cloak that I think he thought he had. War Prism gets sniped off, but he doesn't have the forces to fight this. Yeah, it's just, I mean, his supply is very low. That was kind of a desperation move. He's trying to get a good fight, but yeah, he just didn't have enough stuff. San oh, this brings us back to the planetary. A not a bad idea. He yeah. doesn't have Widowmines, he doesn't have Marines, there's not a lot of DPS in this army. This is looking worse and worse for Jokshi. Hell, this might actually be game right here. I think so. It's just, uh, it's just a lot of progress. Those storms, storms, though. Oh, oh my god, god. Jokshi. Rip. <laughs> Get this guy a weatherman. Ugh. Son, we'll take game number one. Oh. I don't know.